all cars born of functionality and shallow wallets, the Nano is inherently right. It's the simplicity of the design that will lie at the heart of the Nano's appeal and will make this the ultimate classless vehicle. For what is a cheap, cheap car, there aren't too many hints at cost cutting. In fact, there are many hints at spottiness, like this rear roof spoiler, or the side intakes, which are like the Lamborghini Gallardos, or these nice little flared wheel arches. It is such a beautiful, beautiful shape. There are three variants. The standard 1 lakh rupee car is bog standard and has black bumpers, no air conditioning, Rexine seats and a fixed front passenger seat. The middle variant gets air conditioning while the top and LX also get central locking, fabric seats and power front windows. The light grey two-tone plastics actually give it an airy feel and in such a small car, the centrally mounted speedo breaks the monotony of the design. What will really shock you is that the space inside the car is just outstanding. Tata claims that this car is 8% smaller than the smallest car in India. The 800 obviously, but has got 21% more interior volume. So you have a car that looks like a Pokemon character. But how does it drive? Well, on first impressions, it's surprisingly normal. But let's get a little technical about this. At the heart, or should I say butt of the Nano, is a twin-cylinder 624cc all-aluminium petrol engine. It runs a low 9.7 is to 1 compression ratio, so adulterated fuel won't pose too many problems. It's a basic engine with two valves per cylinder and a special low-cost ECU developed by Bosch which handles fuel injection duties. Now 35 PS of power is not much, but they've geared this thing right and that means initial acceleration is sprightly. 60 takes 9.8 seconds, which if you're being honest, is quite okay for the city. It makes this a good fun car to drive in the city, but after that, oh, she takes a long time. At 90, you shift into fourth, and then you wait and wait. 100 takes 35 seconds, and she needs almost a kilometer to get to 100. And at 105, all those engine check lights blink up, and that's it, that is top speed. And that won't make it suited to the highway. But what you will love, love to bits, is the fuel efficiency. The ARAI certified figure is 23.6 kilometers to the litre, which makes this the most fuel efficient car in the country. This isn't any cut price embarrassment of a car. This is a car as we know it, a car that you and me will love. This is a car I think you should go out and should definitely buy. Catch Overdrive at these times on CNBC TV 18.